Things are getting very tense at airline security checkpoints across the country, and that uh, would be an unfortunate. More than they ever. <laughs> it's the beginning of the busiest travel week of the year, with nearly one and a half million Americans taking to the skies. And it's always been tough, but this week it could be even worse because of those controversial new TSA security procedures. With the TSA's porno scanner or junk groper security option, we are there. Each and every traveler is treated like a possible terrorist even little old ladies. The burning question, should there be any limits on what the government can do under the guise of keeping us safe? Everybody's fed up. The people are fed up. The pilots are fed up. I'm fed up. Incredible how you can. Growing controversy over those full body scanners over the full airport. Full body scanners about the radiation that may be used. The whole body imager. It's been nicknamed the peeper because it sees through our clothes searching for bombs. They're so detailed, in fact, that when a TSA employee went through the body scanner, he got in a physical altercation as a result of the scanner making fun of the size of his genitals. TSA is re relying on studies that the government has commissioned, not on peer-reviewed science. The University of California at San Francisco even wrote to the Obama administration earlier this year expressing concerns. They claim that not enough independent research has been done and that they're concerned about the effects of the radiation from the scanners, especially on people over 65, people with HIV, cancer patients, kids and teens, and pregnant women. Well, we have to decide whether that is worth it for the people of this country. It's not worth it for me. I don't intend to use those. And then what's my option? My option is to go through this unbelievable pat down where people are really having themselves violated. It was embarrassing. I, I tweeted out right afterwards. I said, I feel like somebody should owe me a cigarette and a dinner because he felt me up. They actually make contact with the genital area. I mean, people feel in their underwear. It's absurd. We can do that out here, but if you touch my junk, I'm going to have you arrested. Come on, come on, come on, come on, now touch me, baby. Uh, anyone who asks for a pat down in the airport is literally called out by the security officials, pulled aside, and experiences something that's really humiliating. Uh, we don't see it as a meaningful alternative. And submitting to the porn scanner does not guarantee exemption from the pat down, since some passengers who go through the scanner are then randomly selected for the additional physical search anyway. Paul, tonight we're hearing about another security pat down horror story. She was forced to show her prosthetic breasts during a pat-down. From this happy little girl to this, during an ordeal through security. He says it was so aggressive, it spilled his urine bag, a result of cancer surgery. He had to travel in a urine-soaked shirt and pants. But the question is, is everything we go through at checkpoints actually making us safer? You gotta remember the underwear bomber. It's like the alleged Christmas Day bomber trying to get on planes with bombs in their underwear. Detect those type of devices that we had not seen um, before, for example, last, last Christmas. But let me remind you of something. The technical specifications we obtained also reveal that these machines do not detect powdered explosives and could not have detected the explosives carried on in the Christmas Day bombing attempt. They're not only privacy invasive, they're not only unconstitutional, they're ineffective. The critical question that a court will have to ask is whether the search is reasonable. Uh, we argued originally that it was uniquely invasive and unnecessary, but we've since learned that it's also not effective uh, because it does not detect material and body cavities. It does not detect powdered explosives. It really doesn't work. The former Secretary of Homeland Security, Michael Chertoff, represents RapaScan, the company which is selling these scanners to his former department. So perhaps Chertoff's interest in body scanners and security isn't just about protecting the American people. Uh, this RapaScan has about quadrupled its lobbying in the last four years. This is much more about money than it is about security. For some, it's the selling of American privacy for profit. And yet we just sit there and calmly you know, say, oh, they're making us safe. England repealed these machines after four years. Um, the Italian government has removed these body scanners because they know that they're ineffective. It's wrong, especially when there's so many other examples around the world of other countries that do it differently where we don't have to have these invasive procedures. I mean, nobody likes having their Fourth Amendment violated going through a, a security line, but the truth of the matter is uh, we're going to have to do it. That isn't the case. You never have to sacrifice your rights. You know, the Absolutely. TSA says that they have disabled any sort of 
technology that would allow these machines to save images. You know, that sounds like spin. The TSA has its own technical specifications that require that the airport body scanners be able to collect, save, and transmit images. You know, it was the government's failure before 9-11. Our federal government was in charge of security. It's a problem manufactured by our enemies in Al-Qaeda who have been trying to blow up airplanes, whether it's in the cargo why? or in the passenger Why? Why do they want to come after us? Did I don't really care question? why. If I'm flying on a plane, I want to be safe. <laughs> you got to ask that. That's why we're not getting anywhere.